Hey guys, this is Curtis with We Whack Along Care. Hey, today I'm out looking at some new trucks while my truck is, uh, well, I'm getting all changed. It's that time, uh, I like to keep it, I like to keep everything fresh on it, so I'm getting it all checked out. And uh, meanwhile, that's why I walked over here to check out some of these new trucks over here. Uh, I'm looking at one, uh, kind of got my interest. Uh, looking at this one right here, this sport right here. Uh, this here is a 23 Ford F-150 and has the bed liner and all that in there. I like that. And got the window. Uh, it's got a defrost in the window there. And uh, let's see what it's going for here. Uh, that one's like uh, 55. 55,000. That ain't bad. That ain't bad. It's high, but ain't bad. And, uh, hmm, I may talk to him about that one. I don't know. Looking at it, really looks, I kind of like that appearance on it. It's all white. It's got the blacked out grill on it. And, and just, and it's it. Well, the XLT off 150. Like the wheels on there. That one looks good. A lot of uh, well, a lot of trucks to choose from compared to a year ago, and then hardly have any trucks out here on this lot. They got plenty now, though, huh? And I'm, I'm, I like that white. I'm just looking, uh, and this one is a trimmer. Now, nah, I don't need a trimmer, but uh, just walking around looking, see what our colors like I mean they got the gray they got black they got all oh, the blue they got a lot of different colors here to pick hmm so let's see let's walk over here it's gray nah I don't want no gray Larry nah let's see what else that's look good nah I think I'm on the chrome. Chrome looks good, but nah. I want no chrome. I want it all uh ah. I want it all blacked out. I like this here black. I like that grill. That gray, that really looks good. Yeah, what what is this one here? Okay, that's the XLT. It's a pretty color here. But nah, that looks like look like a trimmer because they had his engraving in the hood so this must be no it's not a trimmer no let's see what this one is and how much is it uh, let's see how much is this one whoa sixty four thousand okay now this is a LFX 4 off-road okay got the it's got the, the dual exhaust on there okay it's just like the trimmer but hmm I'm wondering what size engine in there let's see what is that nah oh okay that color I do like the color I like the black I like the blacked out badging on it the F-150 that's sharp this is a nice color here also, let's see, black on black, uh, nah, I don't think I want no black truck, nah, I do like this one over here, I like that blue, well, I don't know if that's blue, I don't know what color this is, it looks, it looks nice, it's a Texas edition, let's see, oh, okay, that's a sport, so let's see what else, in the sport. I don't know if any of them open. Uh, XLT. Yeah. Okay. Like that. It's pretty nice. That's what all they have over there. Uh, 
Okay, they got some options on it. XLT. All right, that one's 56. Wow. Doesn't have. Well, it's got the tenant windows. Come, it comes with all tenant windows already. The front and the back. Okay, I like that. You don't have to bother with tinting the windows. They come already tinted. That's a pretty color too. And let's see what else. Off-road. Another black. This here is a pretty color. Oh. Yeah, let's see what this one. All right. Cloth interior seats, got the dash. Okay, it's XLT. And it's got the. Nah, I don't want that car. Okay. Looking at it, it's pretty color. It's clean. Yeah. But well, let's see. STX, nah. Don't have any. Uh, no, uh, no running boards on it. So nah. White sports package. Mm. Effects. Wow. Trying to narrow it down to which color. If I was to get one, which color would I get? I like that blue. This blue is pretty. Yeah, that, what's this one right here? Okay, that's a S TX9. No, no, no. Blue. Yeah, that's it's a pretty color. That blue. Hmm. Looking around, looking around. Okay. Okay, let's see. Yeah, that one right there. Let's see. All right. Okay, I like the mirrors. I like, I like the way this is painted here the blacked out mirrors on there I like I would like for oh that's a, a cover that they put on it what I would like for the grill to be all blacked out like that and if that was that would look nice kind of glossy like blacked out grill and let's see what else yeah I would like the blacked out badging on it more like this one here that black dot badging that, that really looks good that's a trimmer uh, let's see what else plenty of trucks uh, let's see let's see what else Hey, I, I like them rims on this one. Those are, those are really nice. Kind of glossy black dot rims. I like that. 
And let's see what else. Walking. Plenty of trucks, plenty of automobiles. Utility. Let's see. What else they have? Okay. What else? Got some more trucks down here. So let's see what else they got here. Oh, what this guy talking about? Hey, all right, how you doing there? Good. That's good. What's uh, I'm getting my truck over there service, getting the oil changed, and I'm just walking around out here checking out some of your trucks. Oh, okay. Yeah, seeing what all you have out here. What year do you have here? I got a 2012. Yeah, 2012. Yeah. Is it time to upgrade? <laughs> pin on the deal. Pin on the deal. I what mean, you? The last day of the month. Is every deal on the planet is going on today. <laughs> what are we talking about today? What kind of deal? I what mean, the... it is, we can get as close to any kind of payment that you want to be. Uh, what they knocking off on them? I don't know. That I don't know. I'll talk. I got to talk to those guys about that. Oh, oh okay. We're trying to move as much nonsense as you know. As much as we got all this. We have too much. Yeah, I see. We get rid of it. I see compared to last year. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh man, what nothing out here? No, <laughs> no. <laughs> hey, got there. Hey, all right. I'm Curtis. Curtis, Curtis. nice to meet you, dear. Yeah, there was a. Uh, I remember there was one time there's four cars on the lot. Yeah. That was August. I think August of 21. Yep. That was ridiculous. Yep. And three of them had over 5,000 miles on. Oh god. Yeah, because they were retired winners. <laughs> oh god, man. Oh. What uh? What are you driving right now? What trim? What trim level? Oh, it's the XLT. XLT. Yeah. Kind of stays somewhere in the same. Yeah, I always like the XLT. How many miles you got? I got uh, 51,000. That's it? Oh, that's, that's 12? It. Yep. Okay, we want to buy that, man. Come on, let's go. Let's, let's <laughs> hey, y'all have to work me a good deal on uh, that. Yeah, 4 by 2 4 by 4 <laughs> No, I don't need that. It's just a two-wheel drive. Two-wheel drive? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Like what, appearance package? It's like got... What, what, what do you think you saw? Did you see anything you like? I seen one up there. That it was a... Uh, what was that? Texas Edition. I think that was a sport. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Had the darker wheels on uh, no, it was all, yeah, it was, well, all white. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah. What kind of engine do you have in here? I got a 5.0. Okay. Yeah, that Coyote. The V8 or? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I just like them V8s. Yeah. It's got a good rumble to it. It does have a good rumble to it. Now, I take it your 2012 has probably paid off? Oh, yeah, been paid off. Been paid off. Yeah. Uh -huh. All I gotta do is walk around and run into somebody like me. <laughs> We'd have to see what they're talking about. Let's see that. Oh, here it is. This one right here. Right here. Yeah, this one right here. Yeah. It does have to, I mean, obviously it's been 11 years since you've a new truck. Yeah. So there's been a little bit of techno technological advances. Oh yeah. When it comes to engines. Oh yeah. It does have the 2.7 EcoBoost V6, e but it's probably kicking out horsepower that you're hit your yours and probably a little bit more. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, I can grab the keys. We can kind of take a quick quick test drive. All right. All I right. Mean, why not? Just to okay. kind of see what you got. That's that EcoBoost. Yeah. yeah I hear them turbos always go out though. Make sure you maintain them. As long as you maintain them, you're fine. Oh yeah? Yeah, that's all it is. When it all comes down to it, uh huh. That's literally all it is. Oh, you just gotta maintain them. Maintain it. Basically, what do they do to them to maintain them? Well, they don't change the oil every now and then. They don't change yeah, as much as as when you're supposed to. You know, they don't. The people that have the issues with them over the past couple of years, because Ford has done such a good job of basically fine tuning those engines. Uh huh. Went to the point where it's like you know they knew what happened back in the day where it was like you know. Turbo's going out, doing this, doing that, this, doing the other. You know, now they they've kind of cornered the market on the the V6 twin turbo engines. Now you got everybody else trying to copy it. Oh, okay. Toyota's copying it, GM's copying it, etc. Ram is still staying by it, it's still staying by the V8. But it is what it is. Yeah. Uh, they'll probably eventually eventually uh, come around. Oh, okay. Yeah. Trial by error. Huh. You know? So they've really had a... Yeah, really no, come along over the past couple of years. Yeah, I've heard uh, of anything kind of happening like that. 
you know, for a while now. Yeah. Oh, all right. Woo, feel good in here. Woo. So, you yeah. run grab the key over there. Oh, okay. I'll pull it up over here. Okay, then. Woo. All right, guys, here's one on the showroom floor. So I all blacked out. This one here really looks good. Oh, they got this one lowered. Look at there. It's roasting outside, guys. Look at this. It's got it all leather. It's got the cat's skin seats in there. That really looks great. I'll lower it out. It's the one here. Look at that. Let's see what it looks like in the back. Oh yeah. I like that. I like the sweet, soft cat skin. Mm. Yeah, this here is a cruiser. Oh boy. Yeah. All right. All right. Looking at this, got the tunnel cover. That's nice. Like that. Got uh, I like the rims on this one. Look at here. Oh yeah. Let's see. This here side. Oh yeah. That leather right here on the door, as you can see right here. It's all nice. Mmm. Yeah, now this here. That's what I like. I like the way these seats feel. Now this here is a road trip Royal Cruiser for on the road. Oh yeah. Let's see. Drop Lord. Let's see. All black. I'm not particular about the black, but hey. That one there, it's got a price on it. Let's see. They got 50 over, okay, 65. 65,135. Okay, and this is what a STX. Okay. Look at this. It's nice. Yep. All right, guys. Huh. Should have bought that one. How you doing there? All right, guys. Yeah, that's nice. Let's see what they got over here. Let's still swim. Okay, that's another trimmer. Let's, let's see what else in this trimmer. I like the seats. I like the way these seats are in this trimmer here. That's real nice. Yep. Right, ready to ride? Okay. All right, guys. These seats are real pretty in here. Nice. <laughs> okay. We go back out in the roasting heat here. Hey, but you know what? Trust me. 
Cool down. Uh, All right. So, sport bag expedition. We have, you know, your 20-inch carbon ice grade. What, what size rim? 20s. Those are 20s? Oh, okay. Okay. So, so obviously, still, still the largest cab. Okay. And half ton trucks on the market, no question. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. Can move around. Got running boards on this one, too. Some stuff. Okay. This is what we do. This is one of the things. One of the five things we do to every single truck. We put a spray and bed liner on it. All right. All right. Done right, too, because it's stuffed all the way around. The okay. whole entire bed stuff, so it's not just sitting on clear coat. Oh, okay. Like the factory does. It messes it up. So it does come with a lifetime warranty. And then also uh, you have a 400-watt uh, generator. 400 watt generator. Oh, okay. Back here and do whatever you need to. Oh, okay. So the C clamp holders here. So All right. Holding like two by four. This one there to cut. Okay. Oh, good. All right. Wow. So, uh, sensors back here. I'll give you all your beep beeps. Give you, you know, keep you safe. Keep you from running into anything. Uh huh. And then also, it's part of the automatic emergency braking system where we'll stop the truck before you hit something. Oh, okay. All right. It's on the other side of the taxi. Yeah. Okay. So oh. I want to show you around the front real quick. It's got a little thing that they changed up. Obviously the badging. Okay. You have the black caps on the uh, on the mirrors. Lights out uh, grill. Full LEDs that go all the way down here now. That's okay. I'm running on. All right. All right. I guess. Let's, let's test drive. Now, a couple one. things have changed in 11 years. All right. All right. Just a few. 12 inch screens one. <laughs> oh, that's nice. 12 inch screen. You do have the auto start stop technology, but you can turn it off. That's the auto start stop technology is the, uh, when you get to a red light, engine shuts off, everything else keeps running, take your foot off the brake, kicks back on, and you go. Okay. So, uh, so that's that. They did adopt this aspect of it, a little extra storage space from the super oh, okay. trucks. Okay. All right. Plugs galore. All right. All Another right. 400 watt here. 400 watts. And then your little, the old school cigarette there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. So, all your climate control is, is all down here, from heated seats, all, all right. your AC, uh, AC stuff. Um, wow. AC controls. Okay. So. Moving up to the screen. Uh, uh, moving up to the screen. Big 12 inch screen for you. Under features. I always like to kind of start here, kind of gives you a little bit of know how. Zone lighting. Zone lighting is uh, if you're in a dark area, right? You need a little extra light outside. You have LEDs that are underneath these and then on the sides, obviously the LEDs up front and in the back. So, all the lights kick on. Okay. You can turn them off one by one, whatever side you need. Uh -huh. But, I would just keep it off unless you need it. Okay. <laughs> so, owner's manual is now built into the screen. You still get a book. Okay. Okay. Wow. But you do have the owner's manual that's built into the screen. Type, type in what you're looking for. There's categories, there's a visual search. You can bookmark certain things. Uh, and then also there's videos that you can watch. Wow. Driver assistance. Uh, this is your Ford Copilot. This is all of your safety features. So auto hold is off right now. That is where you can come to a red light stop, take your foot off the brake, and you won't move. Okay. You stay there and you just push the gas to go. Hmm. Lane keep system, that keeps you centered in the lanes. Okay. So right now it's an alert. And what alert does is just vibrate this when, you, when it notices that you're drifting. Uh -huh. Aid will move the steering wheel back into uh, the center of the lane. Or you can combo them up and do the vibration and the move. Me personally, on my Bronco, I do the alert and that's it. Okay. And then you can always mess up the intensity of the vibration. High, normal, low. 
pre-collision, that was what I was talking about with the sensors mm -hmm. and everything. Mm -hmm. uh, the, with the sensors kind of stopping it and everything, let you know that's part of the automatic uh, emergency braking system. If you are coming up on a head-on collision, this is what this is built in for. This monitors it. Oh, okay. Okay. If you're getting too close, it'll give you the audible and visual warning on the dash and then all your beep beeps. Uh, and then it will start braking the truck if you don't put if you don't step on the brake. Oh, well, I don't. Okay. It's not going to prevent a collision, but it will. Uh, it will kind of, I guess, soften the impact. Wow! I don't <laughs> want to get hit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. I know. <laughs> no. But it will break. It will. It will break the truck for you. Oh, yeah. okay. Uh, side mirrors have your blind spot indicators. Oh, okay. Top uh, right hand corner on this side, top left hand corner on that side. Hmm. You see, okay. You see some, somebody in your blind spot, it illuminates. Park aid sensors, we kind of went over that when we were walking around the truck. Cross traffic alert. This is a, this is a part of, this is kind of gives you, so if you're in reverse uh -huh. and you're backing out, it'll let you know that a car's coming. Okay. It'll give you, it'll give you like a little warning, like little arrows on which side it's coming from and It'll, it'll beep at you. If you keep going, it will stop the truck. <laughs> it'll, it'll, and it will brake hard. Oh, wow. Uh, that's what the reverse brake assist. Those two kind of go coincide together. That's scary. Yeah. But it keeps you from hitting anything. Yeah. Driver alert. Keep that on for everything to work. Also, it kind of just checks on you if you're on a really long road trip. See if you need some coffee. Your camera button gives you straight back just gives you an idea of what the, what's going on before you kind of take off or if you need to okay all right Comps and hazards tracks control little center console gear shifter as well you can pull this that down make it a lunch table make it a workstation whatever you need oh they don't have it you can it doesn't have the folding thing this one doesn't oh. but you can still kind of use it <laughs> oh okay so then it goes up, and then the drive modes. The drive modes are all right here. It'll, you cite, it'll cycle through uh, on the on the screen in front of you. So it'll show you eco, score. Huh. Okay. Hold on one second. Yes, sir. Yeah, who is it? Is it Katie? Yeah, um, oh, her husband. Oh, I'm with a customer at the moment. Can you see the thing? I mean, just shoot me a text. Sorry. Right. Uh, and then this does have the power sliding rear, uh, rear window. Oh, okay. In the back as well. Power sliding window, huh? So, okay. Yeah. All right. Bam. Wow. So, and then obviously, something's Oh, okay. So, okay. Any questions so far? Not. Nah. There's a, lot, <laughs> there's a lot. There's a lot of technology that's, good, that's been added to these things. Yeah, I'm, I'm well, I'm still with the old school, the basic. I know. <laughs> I'm like, dang. Trying to new school you. <laughs> well, you know, I used to would buy a truck every ten years. Well, man, you're late. <laughs> Uh, I wanted to see what the economy, well, you know what the pandemic and all yeah, that, it, it changed everything. You're like, wait a minute, where's the car market going? Mm -hmm. You can't find no vehicles. You're like, what? Yeah. Now, they got more vehicles than, <laughs> exactly. yeah, you're like, what's, what's done happen? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'm like, man, you got more vehicles now than ever. People not buying them. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh-uh. Yeah, so the market changed it is big time yeah so yeah hey, i was looking i know they had uh let's see what's the difference in i know the 20 24 uh, mm -hmm. gonna, gonna be coming out how much difference is, are they gonna have i know they're offering different colors and it's just different colors it's not actually the colors and stuff and such are not that not really that different uh or anything that's color the 24s there's the same body same everything yeah, I see they, I guess, changed up the grill a little bit or something, though, with the lights. I think it was like the, uh, what's that, the uh, Super Duty, where they changed out the grill. I mean, yeah, the kinda... Super Duty's completely changed. Yeah. So, um, let's take a quick spin. All right. Let's feel, feel a little bit, see how she handles. Haha. <laughs> 
This probably got some power to it. It's got some oomph. Yeah, it's got a lot of okay. Let me hold on to that. All right. <laughs> All right. Got your GoPro. Let's go. Hop out here and take a right. So, working, not working, retired? Pretty much retired. Just, Pretty much retired? Yeah, I just do a little off and on now. Good for you. Yeah, I decided keep to. Keep you busy a little bit. Little things that keep you busy? Yeah. I, I had a well, lawn care and landscaping business. And, yeah, I see you. Yeah, I see you. Yeah. yeah. And uh, came the end of the year, I was like, Letting all my customers know I'm retiring, but some of them, they don't want me to retire. They keep calling me back. Oh, I can't find nobody. Can you come in? Uh, okay. Hey, Liz, that's what happens when you do a good job and you treat people right, though. <laughs> yeah, I guess I've been treating them real good. I, know. I can't get rid of them. No, no. You got retirement or whatever that you're getting paid, then also you get a little extra cash. I mean, it's great. Yeah, it's kind of like I don't need the money. Mm -hmm. It's just. I just go out and help them. I say, well, whatever. I ain't doing nothing anyway. Yeah, exactly. But I just don't want it. I don't want this thing to pull me back in. I'm like, no, nah, I ain't trying to go back in. <laughs> <laughs> so how? Is, my question is, is how is it that you have a 2012 F-150 and you only have 51,000 miles? On what happened? I, I got a 95 Ford mm -hmm. uh, F-150. You're clear. And. Uh, what happened? I was using that one for the work truck. I eventually bought that that 2012 for work truck. Mm -hmm. And so then oh, my dad gave me that 95 mm -hmm. for. He said, "Oh, don't mess that truck up. Just just go on and take my old truck and use it." Yeah. So it's just sat. <laughs> yeah, it just sat up there for <laughs> 51,000 miles. That is crazy. And I should have been driving it, but I ain't nothing. I got a I got a 2010 uh, Cadillac CTS, and it's got 11,000 miles on it. Oh, good Lord. I didn't get a chance to drive it. Everybody, yeah, everybody, drive it everybody got sick, and I was just ripping and running and seeing about them, so I couldn't ever travel, go anywhere. Oh, man. So now, everybody done passed. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, now, 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 now it's just you. Yeah, I yeah. finally, I got some free time to do what I want to do. There you go. And I'm like, yeah. I was about to say, I was like, how is it? How do you like it? I like it. I really like it. It's kind of... You want to freeway it? Yeah. Yeah, hop up on the freeway. It is peppy. Oh, it's got some... Yeah. It, it's get up and go big time. Huh. It's like 335, four, like 340 on the horsepower. Oh, yeah. And almost 400 pounds of torque. Yeah. Wow. So, Burn the tires off. Well, <laughs> if, you put your foot, if you put it in sport mode, put your foot in. <laughs> no, I ain't going to do it. <laughs> so, it's quick enough. Yeah, Dang. It gets up and goes. Yeah, I can feel it. There you go. You feel like it'll walk. I can feel it. Yeah. Put out it like that's the thing. It's like I'm, I've driven, I've driven in GMC. I hated it. I've driven a Ram. I didn't hate it, but it was just twenty some odd years ago. Uh, and everything. Um, and I've driven Ford. I just don't see anything. I really don't. I've never really seen a comparison that you know kind of no, stand, stands up with it. Well, what it is with the Ford, it was just more durable. It is. Yeah. You know, I, I mean, I had Chevrolet. They just went all up. No, God, I, no. I mean, if you're working for a work truck, mm -hmm. no. No, oh, 100%. It, it never would. I mean, I don't know. I had two Chevrolets, and I was like, ah. Yeah. A GM was, a GMC was basically a Chevrolet. Yeah, and they come off the same assembly line. They just... Yeah. 
put just different clips on them. Exactly. And we're gonna call this a GMC. We we'll call this one hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. One's called one's called a High Country. The other one's called a Denali. Yeah. So I had a Denali, and um, and everything. And the seats like kind of gave out after about a year and a half. Like the seats, like they just they they wore out so fast. Yeah. They, they, and I'm I was about the size I am now. You know, so it's nothing uh, yeah, like that. Yeah. It just don't hold up. I tried it. It really don't. I tried the Chevrolet, and I was yeah. like, no. Nah. And then there's, and, I, and and this isn't because I sell them. It's like I sell I sell Ford because I believe in the product, um, and the fact that we're 46 straight years number one half ton truck on the market. You know, number one uh, F one fifty is number one across the board, most sold. You, um, you know, when I when I was uh, you good when I was. Looking and I'll see. Well, I'm gonna try me a Ford, but I went out. And I asked 50 guys, older guys, yeah. that had Ford pickup trucks. Mm -hmm. And I said, if you was to buy a truck today, which truck would you buy? Boy, let me tell you, I'm gonna get me another Ford. I ain't uh, gonna yeah. get nothing but a Ford. Yeah, exactly. He said, <laughs> he said, what you driving? He said, good luck. Let me give you my number. Yeah. <laughs> I say, well, I may have to come get you. Yeah, right. Yeah. That's <laughs> I'm funny. like, no, nah, man. That's funny. You know, that is funny. No, like, you know, it's, so it's just one of those things where it's like, and plus the, like, I've never seen, I, I don't think, in my opinion, I don't think there's another more comfortable interior on a truck, on a vehicle, really, uh, than for it. They just, I don't know what they, how they make the seats, but they make the seats correctly. Well, they got the seats more wider and they mm -hmm. get you more comfort. Yep. I mean, you can just sit in a Ford and cruise all day long. Oh, one, yeah, 100%. And, like, I drive a Bronco right now, and and even, that, like, I was kind of worried about the how the seating would be, but it's still, it's, there's no issues whatsoever. It's super comfy. country you know driving mm -hmm. and uh, with my Ford I was like wow I mean I tried it in the Chevrolet it was <laughs> I was out well, I think yeah. I was up in Amarillo and I was like what the heck the chick engine like come on uh, now what there you go. exactly <laughs> I had a, one of my salesmen is <laughs> one of the funniest things this is a couple this is probably like three weeks ago or four, about a month ago um, he had to do a home delivery to Louisiana and, and a new Bronco, and he was bringing back the trade-in, and they had done like a blind bid and everything, and um, he turned around and uh, while he was driving back, high RPMs, check engine lights on, he's burning gas like no other, he's filling up like every, like, you know, just burning through a tank of gas without a problem because like I mean it was just stuck on like 4,500 RPMs the entire way back at like 65 miles an hour mm. and he used to say so he finally got to the he got the, the beltway he was on the beltway over here and he <laughs> probably about seven minutes away and uh it ran out of gas oh god he was trying to get back and he was like and he ran out of gas and he was like this is the dumbest thing he, we were talking the whole time and he was like I was laughing I was laughing at him but um but yeah, it was it was it was really funny. I go, what is it? And he goes, it's a Chevy. I was like, oh, there you go. <laughs> That's why. I mean, so it was funny. I mean, they don't, I, I think they didn't got some better, but I, I'm not buying. They've gotten one. some better, but it's not. Uh, Chevy is like their is GM's like stepchild that they just kind of you know that keeps selling trucks and everything else. They put more money into the GMCs and think the GMCs are just worth so much more. What a name. <laughs> yeah. It's the same truck. It's the same truck. But well, look I, at these. I think you can knock it down yeah. and get your Chevy for like, well, they can, I think, like three or four thousand. They knock them off. Yeah. And I'm like, it's the same truck. It's the same truck. But it come down the same assembly line. Exactly. Put a different clip on it. Same frame. And I'm like, well, it's, it's marketing. That's yeah. a good marketing uh, strategy. Uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> you sell more trucks that way. <laughs> yeah, I know. But the thing is, Chevy still out sells GMC all, all every year. And it's like because of that three, four thousand more. <laughs> yeah, because it goes, it goes. Ford, Ford's number one. 
Ram is closing in on Chevy, like big time. But it's usually when well, they, they didn't got them. Chevy done fell behind them. I think they did. Yeah, I think they did this past year. So only yeah. Ford, Ram, Chevy, and then GMC is only like twelve to fifteen percent of the market and everything. And then after that, it's like Toyota, and then nobody really buys a Nissan. Um, yeah. Exactly, it's a good truck, but yeah, yes. How this person's turning left out of like go straight lane. But the, um, you know, man, it's just gonna, and Tundra's actually kind of catching up, too. Catching up with GMC. Oh, yeah, but they don't, they only offer it on a half ton. They don't have any three quarter ton. No, <laughs> they don't, no. Half ton truck, and I'm like, nah. Yeah, they don't, they're not going to. At all. I mean, they're good trucks, but. What do you think? I like it. It's real nice. What if we get an appraisal done and we can get some numbers to work <laughs> yeah, right. that you like? They don't know. They don't never give you nothing on them. <laughs> Trade them. I know. Hey, you never know. It's a different market. Especially it, the mileage is what is so key uh, on. On your truck, on your trade in. Because we would not, like, usually somebody says 2012 and it's like, we'll take it in, give you a bare minimum, and then send you straight, send it straight to auction. But your, your, um, yeah, just be a part of But yours with the mileage and everything, we're gonna wanna sell that. We're gonna to want to keep it. We're gonna to want to sell it. So in other words, we'll probably give you a, see what we got. Yeah, it ain't nothing wrong with it. Mm -hmm. Fifty-one thousand miles better than anything wrong. Nah, it ain't wrong man. <laughs> so we'll give you All that right. back. All right. All right. Let's go ahead and walk back inside real quick. I'm gonna go. Uh, who's your service advisor? Uh, heck, I don't. I don't you even know the guy remember? name. I don't remember. Okay. All right, guys, that's a real nice ride. Ain't clean. Yeah, it's good looking, man. That's a sport. Oh, yeah. That's a sport there. See what they're talking about. See what they're talking about. Let's see what they're talking about. That's the man they need to talk to anyway. Okay then. All right. All right. All right. <laughs>